Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Dan Fish Joe here. Those of you that know me, those of you that don't, uh, I was with the People's Convoy and did some other things on this channel. I'm going to start uh, building this thing up. And uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, give you a tour of my chicken coop and show you how I'm building it, what I'm doing to it. And I am actually going to put the sides on it today. And I'm just going to let it stream live with me. I do have my wireless mic on, so y'all should be able to hear me no matter where I'm at. Uh, I will apologize in advance for uh, the noise when I start running the saw. And uh, good morning, uh, 223. Good to see you. Um, so uh, basically, I just want to show you uh, what my project is on this, this coop. Um, I'm doing all this because uh, Kim and I are uh, basically preppers. We're, we're, we stock up on stuff, and we're going to start getting into having a little bit of uh, livestock. Basically, the chickens first. Uh, we may end up with a couple hogs later and stuff. Uh, I've got plenty of property here uh, to do all that. Uh, no restrictions on any of that, so we can do all that. But... Uh, Today I'm going to put the sides on the building and uh, uh, basically get it, get it pretty much buttoned up. Uh, besides having the door on it, I will hang a tarp over the, the door uh, this afternoon uh, when I get done uh, to keep the water out of it, even though I've got it pretty well set up. And I'll show you here in a minute what I mean. It, it, even if it got wet in there, it's not going to hurt anything, um, but I'd rather keep it dry. Uh, and at least till I get the door on there, I don't, I don't want to mess with, uh, all that, but, uh, uh, I'm not going to cut the windows out today. Um, uh, and you'll see what I mean by that when I go over here, uh, cause I got a lot of, a lot of projects to get done this year. I figured I'd just have you guys follow along with me. Um, chicken coop is the next one in line besides doing my kitchen and stuff. I'm not too worried about showing you all that, but the outside stuff I like to show you. So. Uh, without further ado, I am going to switch this camera over to the other side so I can show you what's going on. Uh, here. Uh, a second here, guys. Takes a second when you're doing it on the phone. There we go. Switched over. Okay. So... Most of you are probably wondering, well, why the hell has he got that silver stuff on there? Hey, Fry. Uh, the silver is mylar. And after uh, watching a lot of videos on chicken coops and everything, and people up north talking about how cold it is and their chickens can't stay warm, uh, people down south talking about how co uh, warm it is and they can't stay cool, well, what this mylar does is in the summertime it reflects the heat. So it will actually be cooler inside the building than it is outside. And in the wintertime, the chickens and the deep, fire, or deep, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm losing the word here. Uh, uh, the stuff I'm putting on the floor in here, the, the, the wood and everything, the deep me litter method, that's the deep litter method I'm going to use. Um, will produce heat and that heat will be reflected back into them and keep them warm so um that's the reason i put the the mylar on there it was left over from the house a lot of this is left over from the house uh the metal roofing up there as you can see i've got a bunch of it over there on the ground uh where i was sorting it out uh I, this is all scraps from around here i mean some of the two by fours i did have to buy a few um uh, i've still got to put cross braces on here and you'll see me making sure everything is square up here because we had quite a bit of wind and uh i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but if i shake the building it it, it rocks just a little bit right now so it could have one out of square a little bit after i got it built um so you'll see me making sure i got that all square when i put my siding on here um as you notice as i come up here the, it has a linoleum floor which will make it super easy to clean, uh, keep any of the wood below it from getting rotted out. I won't have to replace the floor in here. 
I've got it wrapped all the way around the sides and the siding that I'm putting on here will come all the way down underneath this. So anything that's in there, it's not going to, nothing's going to get in here. I want to get in, um, like up here in this, these, these will be cut out and have little doors put on them, uh, with, uh, uh, hardware cloth, uh, so that there'll be ventilation up there. All this is open up here. That will stay open. It will get hardware cloth so that we can't get critters in there. I won't have to worry about this particular side because it will be in the chicken run. Um, but this side here will have to have hardware cloth on it. Uh, down here, I've got two 22-inch windows that are going to go in. Um, and until I actually build the windows, uh, I'm not going to uh, cut this stuff open like today. Uh, once I get the windows built for it, uh, I haven't bought any uh, plexiglass yet. I'm just going to put some plexiglass windows in there. Uh, the windows will be on hinges, and then there'll be uh, hardware cloth around all of that area there to keep keep the chicken safe. Uh, down here is where my uh, hen box is going to go for the laying boxes. Um, it's going to be set up outside to where um, the bottom is actually open. It's going to have a vinyl covered hardware cloth on the bottom and a grass mat goes on top of it. Um, very easy to clean. The eggs will be put on a seven and a half degree angle uh, uh, where they lay so that they will roll into a box outside of the hen box. There'll be a, a wall there and a space about oh, four inches or so, which I'll hang some vinyl on uh, so they can easily roll through it. My eggs will stay clean. I won't have to worry about cleaning them. Um, and I'll have an open hatch out there. Actually, I'm going to do a double open hatch, and I'll show you that when I build that. That'll be later. Uh, I've got about five months for these chicks to get big enough to uh, do anything. So, um, I got plenty of time for that one right there. Uh, but, uh, when I build that, I'll show y'all how I'm doing it so that, uh, you can have a, uh, and I, I'll do it before the five months, but, um, I, I will show you how I'm doing that so that, uh, if you want to build one yourself, you can, uh, I think this is, you know, I've watched many, many, many videos online watching how everybody else is doing it. And I took the best ideas from everybody and then combined them and made one made up an idea for myself so we come back outside off of this side here we're starting on the corner we're going to come out 16 feet which is about where i'm pointing there we're going to go 16 feet back eight feet over eight feet back and then eight feet over here back to the building on the side here where the hardware cloth can stay consistent and the reason i put the eight foot uh L shape off to the side here is I'm going to use this gray metal on the ground around around the edges of it and make a compost bin uh, so that uh, all the uh, excess scraps from the chickens and excess scraps from the food that we have here and all that kind of stuff will get tossed into the compost the chickens can get in there peck at it, move it around. I won't have to go in and dig it up and stir it up and all that. Hell, the chickens will do it for me. So we'll have a nice compost bin. Uh, later on down in here, on the other end of it, I'm going to put raised bed gardens, and we've already got a bunch of heirloom seeds that will reproduce their own seeds so we don't ever have to buy them again. And we're going to run a few gardens down in here that will be for us and the chickens to feed the chickens. So we're looking at doing this as cheaply as possible um, when it comes to raising these hens. Uh, you know, I've got a, uh, I'm setting up a fodder system, which any of you know what fodder is. Fodder is uh, taking like wheat grain or uh, rye or something like that, and you spend about seven days growing it in a, basically like a hydroponic system. You don't have to have hydroponics to do it, but uh, I'm going to set one up. Uh, in my uh, barn here back in the corner and uh, basically uh, you can take uh, 50 pounds of grain and make 200 to 250 pounds of fodder which is all feed for the chickens and it's super healthy and super nutritional for them so uh, you know a 50 pound bag of of uh, wheat grain here is uh, $13 
So I get it from my local feed mill. And I've actually got some growing upstairs right now. Um, trying my first batch out, see how it comes out. And we will be feeding our chickens with that. Um, I will be showing you along the way uh, how I'm going to build my water system that will be heated. Uh, one of the things I didn't show you inside here that I'm going to do, I don't know if I need to climb back up in there, is up in this corner up here, I am going to put a shelf. It is going to get uh, a battery. Uh, uh, I've got two uh, solar batteries right now. I'm going to put one of them in here, put a solar panel up on the roof, and that will run the heater to heat the water system that I'm going to put in for them. Uh, it'll be 55 gallons. It'll be rainwater. It will be collected off from the end down here of the chicken run. And then it will, well, of course, I'll have it setting up high and it will gravity feed back to the water, which I'll have up in here somewhere. And I've, I'm going to take a uh, uh, pipe heater, one of those electric pipe heaters or something like you would put on your roof up there to keep it from icing up and wrap the barrel, wrap the, the hose going up to the watering system which should just be a five gallon bucket, but it's going to have a uh, float in it to keep, to keep the, the water from overfilling. Uh, and I won't have to water the chickens unless it doesn't rain. I won't have to come out and do anything. So I'm looking, like I said, I'm getting old. This, I'm looking to make this stuff easy. Uh, good to see you, Carol. Carol Fry, 223. Got a few of you on here now. It's good. It's good. Good to see you. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to set this phone up in my stand over here, plug it in so it doesn't go dead, and uh, uh, let you guys uh, watch me put the sides on here. Uh, you can hear me talking. You may hear me cussing if something goes wrong, so beware. <laughs> but uh, let me see if I can get the setup in here, get you all leveled up without jacking you all around real hard. You should be able to see my pickup. And let me get this straight. There. Let me hang up my receiver for the mic and plug it all in. Make sure it's on. Goes. All right, guys, we're good. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is. Uh, Cut up that uh, piece of sheeting, put it on this first side over here. Uh, I'm going to be using stainless steel screws. I, I bought a box of them when we were putting uh, this deck on up over in the front. And I've still got a deck to put on in the back later this year. So that will, uh, that will all get done um, with these stainless steel screws. And I, this way I don't have to worry about them rusting out later and going bad and stuff falling apart. Um, we're going to paint this thing barn red and uh, with white trim. Um, a lot of people tell me, well, why are you going to so much work for a chicken coop? Well, I just built a new home. I don't want this ugly looking strapped up chicken coop in my backyard if you know what i mean uh, i'm sort of uh, picky when it comes to that i like my stuff to look good um i still got a lot of yard work to do around here all that kind of good stuff but i am definitely uh getting there uh it's taken me three years to get where we're at but you know i've built an entire home uh for us uh straightened up yard put in a road put in a driveway Put in a sidewalk so the little lady can get up and down easy. Oh, and by the way, if, if y'all want, I'll show you here in a little bit. That big fifth wheel sitting over here is for sale. It's going up for sale. Uh, we just got it all cleaned out and ready. It's got the, the tip out and everything on it. Uh, we want 3500 for it. So, uh, And that's cheap. We paid 7500 for it, but a couple of things broke down on us. Uh, the refrigerator needs to either be recharged or replaced. I'm not sure which. I don't know if you can recharge these. And the AC unit needs a blower motor. That's the only thing wrong with it. It's got a brand new furnace. It's got a brand new water pump. Um, and everything else works on it perfectly. So, if anybody wants a, a fifth wheel, have them contact me. 
Um, but I'm going to get started on this thing because uh, it's supposed to rain for the next eight days after today. So I really want to get these sides on. Come along, guys. First thing I'm going to do is put a helper board across the bottom of this over here. You'll see what I mean by helper board. It will help me to hold the boards up there while I am screwing it into the wall. So, basically, all I'm going to do is set this up here on, on its side and screw it up. It's just temporary to come back off, but I'll be doing this on all four sides. I hope that's not too loud for y'all. <laughs> I can't adjust the volume on this at all. So, these are big screws, so they're going to grab hard. Okay, we are going to leave this over here. We're going to grab our box of screws and bring them out because we're going to need them. I don't have my nail pouch right now. It's buried in my barn underneath some stuff, and I just didn't feel like digging it out, guys. <laughs> now, this board here, I've already marked it for cut, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it and then uh, put the first board off. Okay, and I always cut these on the back side up, reason being is they chip out real bad, and I don't want that side showing. So, we bring this old boy over here, and if I did this right, it should slide right up in there. Ooh. Little tight. Okay, why not fit? Don't tell me this side is shorter than the other side. Can't be. Oh, I see. My two by four is twisted a bit. That's okay. We'll just bump this two by four down a little bit. I know it's cut right. Like I said, all this is a helper board anyway. I should hold this side down, I think, far enough. Let's see what we get now. Yeah, that's what it was. That board's twisted a bit. Still need to, yeah. Still pulled up too tight right there. Alright, and this is where I said I'm going to have to square things. Yeah, the building has shifted. I've got a gap, or a excess here, and a gap up there. So, I do need to bring this down a little bit more on this. Too much. Alright. Just to hold it there anyway, it's all it's for. All right. We're in, we're under. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pain in the butt, guys. Pain in the butt. One person shouldn't be doing this. It should be two, but I don't have two, so it's just me. All right, we're going to get a two started. Pull her up where I want her. There I go. Perfect. Hold that right there. Like so. 
Okay, well, she's not that far out of score. It was that two by four holding me off. All right. See what we're at here. Okay, we're being pinched up top. Okay. That's more like that. Yeah. Round is not so level around here. Gotta be careful. Okay. Yeah. Get up there. There you go. Just like that. Freaking everything you buy nowadays, guys, is warped. Everything. Don't buy decent freaking boards anymore. I bought a few more uh, pieces of this uh, ground contact lumber yesterday. It's so freaking wet, it made it like three times as heavy as it would be. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, how am I going to jack the building now? Okay, I'm going to have to do it from down there and take that board off. Actually, no. Let me see here. I thought this was going to be easier, and this never is. I don't have any of my pry bars in here. Let's see if we can do it with the hammers. So I'm afraid I'm just going to hold that all up. Oh, you dog. Every time. Am I screw you? I love this, guys. I just love it. See how we are and square up here. Actually, the whole damn thing needs to go up higher. But it's not that big a deal. But it is even all the way across. This bold brand. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this board being bold right here is keeping me from pushing it up into the notch there. I hate th doing things when they screw up like this. And yeah, I get out of breath easy, you guys. Just me. Just the way I am. I wonder if I take. I don't know if I got one out here. Take one of my clamps, clamp it where it's just barely there, and then shove it all up. Well, guys, one of those days already. Let's see here. I don't have. Thought I did. Okay. Bear with me. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a clamp. Hold that thing in place.
get up inside here. And if I can reach it, put one of these clamps across there, tighten it down to where it's just barely got it pulled in. Now I should be able to loosen the screws and push it all up. I hope. Well, that was amazing. I actually had it right where I wanted it in the first place. Then you have to mess with it. No clamping, tightening, or nothing. All right. So let's go back. See this bottom is all twisted. Look at that. Just bow right the hell out there. Yeah, let's do the top one first. Come down here and loosen this bottom one when I got it. Put the hammer on it and give it a pull. And yeah, I see that bow down there now. It's making my boy want to fall off. Right. Here we go. See if I can get down there before this thing falls. There we go. All right. Now we're going to try this again. Oh. Stay there. Give me my hammer. Get this down here under here. Damn, look at the bow and shit. Okay, we're still square there. Let's put this back in there. Okay, we're going to do it over here first. Get this in there. It is right where I want it, right there. Much better. Right on the freaking line right there. Perfect. I knew it was cut to fit, by God. Now let's see what we've got to do up here. That's what I thought. Okay. Now it's showing me the building is out of square a bit. This is, shouldn't be in the way. Now it's just a matter of certain if I can get this pushed over or if I'm going to have to hook up something to this building and jack it over here a little bit. I was afraid this was going to happen. When we had we had a hell of a storm come through uh, a couple of days ago, and it really, really bad wind, hail, snow, everything. I mean, you just name it. It was bad. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to jack this by hand. Well, oh, this should have been so much easier if I'd have got this done before this wind came. Okay. I ain't going to use my DeWalt to be a hammer. Let's see if we can tap this thing over. I've got it really tight, so just trust us right now, so. Which is exactly what I wanted. That thing. Oh, I wish I'd have had my freaking thing out. <clears throat> Boy, I can get almost there. Hmm. Well, I might have to go get my big clamps out. Clamp this thing over, guys. I was afraid of all this, but that's why I got y'all with me. So you can see the fun of playing around with building shit that you wish would have got done earlier. 
All right, let me go grab some big clamps. They should both the two of them gonna be long enough. I don't have another long one like this. Okay. Let's see what we end up with here. No? There you go. Ah, you're not grabbing it. Uh, this is one my stepdad just, oh yeah, he's grabbing, okay. My stepdad gave me when he passed away. Now, I suppose time I'm trying to use it, so we'll see how things go. Uh, let's see if we can get these two together. Should fit, I think. Uh, the problem I'm gonna have, okay, I'm gonna have to turn that around so I can grab this side. Oh, I may not reach still. I may not have clamps long enough for this shit. I might have to put a board. Actually, let me see what we got here. Right there. But this has got to come to that. So, will this reach? No, it will not. Okay. Well. And we're going to do it like this. A little slice in there. That doesn't matter. It's just a damn chicken coop. Anyway, it goes. This is going to help. Okay. Y'all get to see my uh, MacGyver skills here. <laughs> okay. Let's get this down for a boss and hit me in the head. Get that off there. Give me this. Let's get back over here where we was. Good. Turn that back around. Watch. And yeah, I have to one foot climb on these ladders because the land is so damn un uneven. Okay. up so I got more squeeze we'll get this building square yet just a hair more and that was a hair too much There we go. All right. Let's square this thing up. Almost there. And 
There it is. I know we could get it done. All right. Put a few screws down this side. Hi, baby. Hi, DJ Weezy, Maggie Moose. My puppies and my mama, my wife. Not my mama, but my wife. Very nice. Very nice. Exactly what I want. Golly, we got her. I'm sure I'll probably have to do it in the other direction, too. This way. Right on the money. Right what we wanted. Dropping screws all over the place. Oh, I need to. Right on the money. That's what we're talking about. Down the middle of that two by four, right where she's supposed to be. And I'm just gonna go around the outside of this for now. I'll come back and do the seams later. Down here on this right side is where the chicken door is going to go. Got an automatic chicken door that I found on eBay at less than half the price of a new one. And it is new. So I felt I did really good on that. I don't usually buy stuff out of rig something up, but this one was pretty good. So. Definitely wanted to keep this secure, and I don't want to have to come out here every day, every morning, every night. I don't, I'm not a morning person. Getting up that early in the morning, five thirty in the morning, let chickens out. That ain't gonna happen. Got that clamp off. <laughs> okay, move back over. Get that top ridge up there. And that bowl's done for now. Pick up all my screws that are out. Nice enough here to go up here and finish. I can take this clamp off. Hey, we've got a bad head. I don't know about y'all, but I am particularly fond of square head for screws. They work so much better than a dang Phillips. All right. Look at her. She stayed. All right. I'll keep this out here. We'll probably don't need it again. I'm sure it racked this building good. It would have been a whole lot more sturdy if I'd had the cross braces put on here already. But I don't know if y'all can tell. The ground's really wet around here, and it has been wet. Uh, the flooring in there, if you've seen it when I walked in, is all filthy. You can tell how muddy it's been out here. Missouri is, in this area, southeast Missouri, has got more rain lately than... We hardly, than we normally ever do. 
at this time of year. Usually it's cold and it, yeah, there's a slight bit of snow, but not that much. I don't see if anybody has been commenting or needs anything is coming back to. <laughs> More power, yeah. Hey, Golden Renaissance. I don't know if you're still on here, but good to see you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate y'all being with me on this. Really having a problem with the YouTube right now. I guess I didn't know this, but after a year, your uh, user hours start counting back down if you ain't still putting hours in. So all those hours I gained yesterday, I gained like... Uh, 12 or 14 hours uh, from the three videos I put on just yesterday and I went in and checked this morning and I lost an hour and a half on my on my time count so I want to try to get this back up get my 4,000 hours so I can have the extra features so I can do some cool shit with this YouTube stuff uh, I got a lot of stuff going on so you know what I'm not out there on the road anymore. I can't show you that, guys that kind of stuff. I can't afford to go out and do it on my own. You know, if I had supporters or something like that doing that, I could do that. But I, I, I can't do it on my own, not on my budget. And uh, I am uh, uh, just going to start. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing with the chickens. Um, I've got a project going on with Zippo lighters. You guys will see soon. Uh, working with my laser and with, uh, um, yeah, uh, okay, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they'll be, they'll be printed, uh, sublimated. That's what they are. I'm going to sublimate images on Zippo lighters. It's all going to be, I've already bought the website, which I got really cheap. Um, Trump, uh, 2024 Zippo.com. It's not up yet, guys. So don't go look for it, but Trump2024Zippo.com will be where they're at. Uh, I will show you guys the process of making those. Um, I'll show you with the laser. Um, I can show you my 3D printers. I've got uh, hydro graphics that we could do. I've got a lot of stuff downstairs that we can do when I'm not busy. Like on rainy days, like this whole next week is going to be eight days of freaking rain in a row. Uh, they're calling 50 to 60 percent, up to 70 percent rain for every day after today. So, you know, stuff like that's what I, I can't do anything else, but I can work on the house a little bit. But when you put the mud on the walls, I'm sheetrocking. When I put the mud on the walls, you have to wait 24 hours. So put mud on the walls takes all of half hour, 45 minutes. And then you got to wait 24 hours before you can do anything. Then you can sand it down. And, you know, of course, you guys, some of you guys know that stuff. But uh, so that will give me time to do stuff like that and take you guys along with me. Um, I have never sublimated on metal before. So that's going to be something we get to try together. Anyway, let me get this next board cut, get this other side on. Uh, that took me way longer than I expected. Uh, so I really need to get moving on this and get this thing done because it is going to start raining tomorrow and I'm, hell, I'm not even going to have time to get it painted before it rains. Let me get this next board off and get her cut. Let's see, front side, back side. Okay, back side's up. That's good. Chalk line out. All right, guys, cover your ears. If this is, I don't like. I said I don't know how noisy this is to y'all. So. Oh. <laughs> 
Get on it. Cover your ears, kid. I'm going to run us off. Uh, the saw didn't get bound up so much as I did. My cord come around me and caught my arm. All right. Hopefully, well, I might have to take that two by four loose on the other end because it was too tight on this end. We'll see. And that's going to all do to be due to the bow in this board. Yeah, okay. Let's get over there first. Where are you?
Okay. Can you guys hear me right now? Can you hear me? Okay, guys. This went dead. I'm going to have to go charge it. I don't know if y'all can hear me right now. I turn it back to the phone. I hope you can. Um, but I'm going to have to go put this on the charger. I, I checked them both this morning. They were full charge. So evidently this thing, uh, is, I don't know how you even replace a battery in it. But looks like I can unscrew it, take it apart. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, I will be right back. I'm going to go throw this on the charger and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, uh, now it's just a phone. Uh, you wouldn't be able to hear me from far away and you'll probably get wind. Um, so uh, just bear with me. I'm going to go throw this thing on a charger and try to get you all going again. It's going to take a little bit for this thing to charge up, but um, I don't know why it's not. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can charge this while I'm using it. Let me go get the, uh, it takes a different cord than the phone does. Let me go get the cord for this. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, coming back here. Let me see if I plug this in, if it, if it actually come on while it's plugged in. I don't know. I've never tried that before. So it's charging on and on. Okay, so that's working. Let me plug this back in here. Oh, that's a lot of weight on there. I'll have to move this stuff. Bring it around. <clears throat> Now it's got to hold an extension cord up too, so bear with me. I'm going to try to rig this up where it works. Okay. Can you guys still hear me now? Oh, this went off. Okay, it's on. Can you guys hear me now? Testing, one, two. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Thanks, Brad. Um, I need to run inside the garage. I've got this hooked to an extension cord. I need to get a double plug so I can plug the phone back in also. Uh, okay, good deal, good deal. Get this thing back on my back again. <laughs> I had my wife do it. I don't know if I can do this myself. <laughs> oh, heck. I'll throw it around front here on my left side that way. It's not in the way of my right hand when I'm grabbing stuff. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab a double plug so I can plug the phone back in too. If I can find the one I'm looking for, the other one. Um, let's see here. Where is my... 
back out if I have to. I'm not sure where any of those are. The only one I can think of that I know of right now, guys, is uh, it's a it's a uh, made for cold weather. It comes on when it's you're going to have to get out of there. Okay. It comes on when it's uh, 35 degrees and goes back off when it's 50. Uh, unless I run a oh, wait a minute. I got another cord I'm not using here already hooked up to the hot box the outside hot box this will work i'll just bring this up yeah heavy one it's a heavy cord though come on all right there's that here there we are good power all right power now, as long as this thing don't go dead, we should be fine. All right. Let's get this next board cut. Here. I built this whole thing. The whole whole reason for it being as tall as it is is I'm getting too old to bend over, guys. Stuff hurts anymore. And uh, I'm a Michigander originally, so even weather like this makes me sweat really bad. And uh, it's going to be a high of 72 today. So you know. That's actually optimal temperature. That's what we keep the house year round, uh, summer and winter. But uh, when I start working, I just sweat like crazy and it takes the breath out of me. Uh, but I still, I'm not wore out. I'm not tore up or nothing. I just breathe hard. I don't know what all that's about. That's just the way God designed me. All right, guys, loud noise. <laughs> Why are you bogging out? You're good, man. All right, this crazy. Old ass freaking wood. All right, let me take that helper board off, get it over here. And we'll put it up where it's not quite so tight as the last time. 
Give me a little working room. I dug this one up in there so hard. It don't want to come back out now. We're down about a half inch. I see it twisting up. We don't want that. Twist to make things hard. All right. Ah, broke my bitch. Good dog. I want to find another. I think I got another bit in my pocket. I think. Oh, square or Phillips. Well, I don't feel like running back in the garage. I'm gonna have my six inch square head. It'll work. But now I'm gonna have to dig, take something, dig that freaking head out of that screw, or snap it off. One of the two. All right, let's get the screws over here where I can reach them. Actually, I think I got some in my pocket. I do. Okay, that's good. Be nice to have my freaking thing here. All right, my pouch. Oh, excuse me. Oh, shit. Okay. We can get started. We're going to put that clamp up there. side sprinkling bowed a bit too or out of, out of square all right you're gonna be a pain in the butt because you're still bowing out right there yeah. can't get underneath it so I can pull it up here in place. 
Because she's one of the twist. Alright. Get this bottom corner screwed in. Come on, get up there. Come on. Imagine if these were fillers had to be twice as bad. Oh, come on. Heck with you. You're just a pain in the butt. It don't help having this six inch long freaking screw head either. Okay. Now. What are we going to have to do here? I might have to do exactly like I did on the other one. See if this will pull up or not. Yep, I have to do the same thing I did over there. Get the clamp out, pull it in. Okay, nice. Stay there. Ah, uh, that's right. This has got windows. I don't have a board there. That's right. It still reaches far. Where's my lord? There I go. Throw it on the window frame. Yes. There we go. Yeah, pretty much new. Doing this <laughs> unprofessionally without all my gear out here and having everything set up. But this was going to be more of a problem. And then I was going to bring y'all along with me to see all my problems. <laughs> okay, bring her back this way just a little bit. Out oh, just to her. There we go. She's racked hard on this side. Just make sure I don't break my freaking two by four over there. Hmm. Had an awful lot of popping. Don't like that. And we ain't over there yet. 
Oh, actually, closer than I thought, but why is this? I don't straight as hell. All the way to there. We're going to screw that part and then we'll rack it again. Oh, hell. This is all pulled freaking. I'm good. What the heck? Okay. We're going to put it in where it's straight. We're good right there. Make sure I don't break a screw. Just put enough of them in right there in that spot. That was good. We're good to there. Okay. We're going to have to pull this back. Hot, hot, hot. I'm very careful building for crack, and that's why. Okay, I think I can push this over. Yeah, I can. All right. Good. There. That ain't making much sense. There's guys on. I know you can't see it. I'm good to hear. I'm a half inch off up there. That ain't making no sense. I'm going to have to take that clamp off. Move it up higher towards the, where it's nailed in. Give it more strength. So I'll break that board. Okay, we are hooked on to a main board, so it's, that's better. That's good. <laughs> Funny thing is, I'll straight across the bottom, guys. It looks good down there. I don't understand why that corner. Unless when I put the roofing on there, it racked it a little bit. That could be. How are we doing here? Actually, I am off just a little bit. Here. Take this clamp off and see what we need to do. I think I see part of it. I think there's a dip in that freaking board right there holding this. And I thought when I looked back from across over there, it just had a little bit of a bow downwards. And I bet that's what's doing the whole damn thing. Is that bowed a bit? That's perfect. Actually, it's perfect across the top. It's just that. Why? Let me take a look at something. I do this without moving the ladder a million times. Come on. I bought an extra stiff freaking. There you go. Uh, it's half inch. Exactly what I got down there. Half inch off of Right on the freaking money. Half inch. 
but I'm straight down here. But I'm off down there. I'm going to have to loosen that roof rafter so this thing will move. She was holding it back. It's that rafter. I think it's got a bow in it. I might have over torqued the screw inside. Pulling that down. I'm moving now. Well, maybe I can torque that thing over. I think that's what's doing it. I think that roof rafter's a little bold. More garbage. Doesn't matter which freaking one you go to either. Don't matter if it's Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot. They're all freaking say, Oh, there it's going over. Still tight. Uh, I hear it pushing the roof up. Side two by four in. think of is all these rafters are binding that. I'm going to pull them loose. enough or not because I can't loosen these up because they were screwed down through the top. They were drilled down in and then screwed into the plank. These others were screwed up through. I don't know if I'm going to get that sucker over there. That's going to be upsetting. It pisses me off. I hate things ain't square. And nobody else would ever fucking know it, but I would. Okay, it came off. I am going to let's see if that'll rip. Uh, not with this clamp. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Come around here. Get this up to the top.
Perfect. Got it. How are we looking down at the bottom here? Off, right on the money. Got it. Finally. So much freaking bow. Lord, I hate these panels. I could have got away with not having bow panels if I wanted to buy three quarter sheeting, but what the hell do you need three quarter sheeting on a chicken coop for? You know what I mean? Look at the bow in this thing. We all can't see it from over there. I probably ought to move y'all down here where you can see me screwing things up more. <laughs> okay, one more down here. Oh. Okay. Another bad screw. Where are we at right there? The next one there. be the window. Oh, no. Is there a window there? Yeah, nothing else there. Okay. That's fine. I will put one in there later to give that a little more support. 
actually this wall here guys <laughs> I didn't use no plans no nothing I just slapped all this thing together and at the last minute I decided to put windows on this side so I didn't even put a center board at the 48 but I'll go inside and tack one in so I can screw that seam right there but lordy lordy Let's see if we can't get one more up on this side. Let me see if my mic and everything I don't shows it's still working. That's good. Working on your chat avatar. Hey, make me one while you're at it. <laughs> All right. Uh-uh. Yeah, I'm going to move you guys down. I brought you up here to see me cutting and shit, but hell, ain't no reason for that. Ooh, and now we're all sideways. Let's get back up our... Okay, I didn't cut you off. Good deal. <laughs> okay, we're good. I thought I cut everybody off or cut the whole damn video off, but I didn't. That'd be better. You guys can see better. You don't need to see me cutting wood. That ain't no big deal. All right, this. Uh, I don't need. Okay. All right. Grab another board here. And that's the first time I've done that today. I hope my tape measure back up where it belongs. Boy, this one's really warped. This one's going to be a real pain in the butt. I appreciate you sticking around, Fry. Give me a watch hours and somebody come talk to when I'm actually over there and not fighting this building. All right, loud noise. Clamp on, clamp on, clamp off. Jack that up. 
get this corner set. Hold still. All right. Get my knees. Come on. up Nice, this one's actually going on nice. No fighting, this one's gonna go. Besides the freaking bow. Not too bad. You know, one by nice about the side of a building is the wife ever kicks me out. I just come clean this thing out. Throw the chickens out in the coop. Make my little house out of it. <laughs> and now, Kim and I have been together 18 years. And we have not had a real argument fight yet. So, I should tell you something about the two of us. We get along good. We, uh, we haven't argued a little bit. But never anything heated. Never anything hateful. We have never been like that okay i need i'll show you guys what i got a little <laughs> this ground is so damn unlevel back there i got a little helper block for my ladder all right let's put that thing on oh, no, those real good stick a little block right there and it's just fine now now i'm square good to go give me some screws here give her a push on the ladder make sure she's tight Oh man, I can't believe how well this one went. That's awesome. First one of the day that didn't fight me. I like it. Well, saves me from going in and taking that clamp off. Get this screwed down here and then go back inside. Screw my roof rafter back down. My rafters. Yeah, this is definitely. Taking me longer than it should, but then again, my mind keeps telling me I'm 26 years old. 
My body keeps telling me I'm turning 60 here next in two months or three months. I get told all the time, well, you don't look 60. I says, I keep telling them, well, I sure as hell feel it. That didn't, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, right there, Dan. That was good. Where is it? Right there. Wow. I don't know. Definitely got to put a board in there. Well, our two sides are done anyway. I don't have none of my sweat rags out here. Glasses are getting a little mugged up. Okay, there, there, dead center, all the way down. Okay. Okay, I can go down through there. Go on. Go on, go on. when it should be. About 12 inches off from there. Should be higher. Oh, where's that at? Oh, man, just missed it. Just right on the edge. Hey, ow, hot one. There it is. I wasn't too bad for a guess. Not doing the measurements. Am I down too low? I think I'm down too low. My box is right there, I think. Okay. Come on, come on. I'll get you in a minute. Don't worry about that. Hey, good 
enough to come back later. Just set you out of the way for a minute. I need to take that off. And yes, I talk to myself a lot when I'm doing this stuff, guys. Yeah, that's the way I am. one's got to break off. That head's been broke. There we go. Break that off in a bit. Good heads. Hope this front and back ain't so cocked as the other. Okay. How are we doing on? Yeah, charge is just about dead on this thing. My charge is just about dead. And the only way to charge it up. Because I'd have to stand here. Alright, well. I'll take my mic off. Leave it on. Out here, but I'm going to have to let that charge to her. I ain't going to be able to talk at all. Might be a little harder to hear me as I walk away, but. This stuff ain't lasting as long as it did out there. These freaking batteries must not be that good in them. They were, uh, they worked real good when I was out there at the people's time, boy. Go for three, four, five hours with them. They ain't lasting a couple hours now. Guess I just need to tear them apart and see what batteries they need. Put some good ones in them. I know you guys can hear me from here. I'm going to go in and get me a sweat rag. And then come back out here and take a little break in front of you. Talk to you for a little bit while these things charge up. And even now, if it did rain, I put the tarp back over the front of this thing. I don't know where y'all can see me at. But put the tarp back over the front of this thing. It ain't gonna, I don't think it's going to tear my mylar off but I am going to try to get these other four pieces on here today this old man I need to take a break a little bit so I'm going to get me a sweat rag and I'll come back and switch the camera around where y'all can see me and talk for a little bit and let them things charge up and then I'll get back at this again
Uh, right. I, I tried uh, Louisiana. Let me switch this camera around. Go back to this side. Camera. Uh, front facing. Uh, oh, what is... Oh, that right there. Okay, get back up there. I got so much weight hanging on this freaking camera. I'm surprised they see how on this small. I'm surprised it's not just falling clean off this thing. I don't know what to do with this now. I better get it to stay there. We go. Let it charge up. But yeah, I can't do Texas. I, I I can handle it down there as long as I got air conditioning I can get back into pretty quick. But yeah, I can't handle the I can't handle the heat uh like that. Uh when me, Kim and I moved down to uh well, it was uh, Picayune, Mississippi, but uh, we were right there next to uh, Bogalusa, Louisiana. We went down there when they uh, had that hurricane, Katrina, to help with the cleanup and stuff like that. And I was hauling them uh, generators and stuff down there and fresh water. And uh, so we moved down there for about, uh, I think we were there probably six months. I couldn't do it no more. I had to go. I, I mean, I literally couldn't. I know it don't look like it's far right now, but from where I'm standing right now to walk over to get into my truck from a building, I would be soaking wet, just sweating. Uh, so, yeah, the, uh, the hot weather don't do me real good. But uh, I try to do most of my work inside on the house during the summer and do most of the work I can outside during the winter. <laughs> I'm going to grab me a cigarette. See, I do real good not smoking when I'm working. I haven't had one in two hours. It's time. Ah, I see. Yeah, I know it's like that all summer in Texas. I know I spent a lot of time down there. I did a lot of loads from that down in there. Uh, picked up a lot in Austin, uh, Houston, Dallas, of course. My phone's not going to see me right that close. Yeah, move things back, see if that helps me. Well, for me, it's got my head up under my numbers. I don't know if that's screwing up for you guys or not. I'm moving back a little bit more. Just try to get close enough y'all can hear me. But, uh, yeah. Um, I hauled uh, feed into uh, uh, Hereford. Texas on the other side all the time. Come down through Oklahoma. Go across the panhandle over there. Into Hereford. And uh, I hauled grain down there. And then I'd haul. Uh, some kind of mash. Back up into. Uh, Kansas. Come back over here to Missouri. Hook another load. And. Uh run right back down to Hereford again, turn around, go back to Kansas and back home. I did that twice a week for, I don't know, a couple of years. Made good money doing that. 20 miles east of Boston, man. I'm glad you're at least outside of Austin. That's pretty bad down there from what I hear. Uh, Kim and I had some friends live down there. We'd stop and visit now and then. And uh, they take us around to the restaurants and stuff. It wasn't too bad then. But boy, shit that's going on down there now is just ridiculous. It has went full-blown liberal garbage. And, I mean, people running the street, killing people. It sounds like Chicago now. I got no use for none of those places. I'm glad I'm off the road. Actually, I don't have to deal with any of them. 
don't get me wrong. I miss the road. I miss being out there. I miss being in my truck. But I don't miss all the crap that goes on out there anymore. I really don't. Yeah, I know you can't see right now, but over. Uh, my phone's point the other direction. But yeah, man, it'd still be the right way for you. But anyway, for me, it's to my left. Man, can yeah, turn the T-Gad be for your left. But uh, down over here, is, I've got a spot that's pretty well cleared out. Got some trees in it and stuff, but uh, it's nothing but weeds during the summertime. But I think I can make it into a good hog pen over there. Put a couple hogs over there. Uh, have the hogs, have some chickens, have some, have a garden going. Don't think I want to go full blown into getting cows and all that kind of stuff, but although I'd love to have the beef, but I'm not looking to get into that much work. Uh, like I said, when I started this video up, I'm trying to make this coop as efficient and self reliant as it can be. I just don't want to. I don't want to have to mess with it all day, every day. Like some of these other people I see out there doing on these videos. They're out there two, three times a day trying to deal with them. And, uh, I'll come out once a day, collect the eggs, make sure the chickens are all alive and doing good. And make sure the food's good and the water's clean. And I'm done with them for the day. <laughs> Cows are hard work. Uh, you know, the only time I've messed with... Uh, one time I messed with cows, I was probably uh, 24 years old or so. Just got back out of the Army. And a uh, girlfriend, just a girl that was a friend, wanted to go up to uh, the UP in Michigan. And uh, I told her, hell, I'll take her up there. So. We went on that ride and we got up there. Well, my car broke down when we got there. And I needed a place to stay. And her friend was a farmer. Ran a dairy farm. And they wanted to go on vacation. And he asked me if I would milk his cows. Had to do it twice a day. Uh, for two weeks. I told him, I said, I ain't never so much as went up and pet a freaking cow. I don't even know. I ain't got a clue about no cow. He said, it's real simple. He took me out in the barn two days in a row. Showed me how there was a couple of them that you had to hand milk, but the rest of them were all machined. He just hooked up, plugged the thing into a machine and hooked up her nipples and let it go. It was, it was done. But uh, I did have to hand milk to him. So that's as much cow experience as I have, is I milk cows for two freaking weeks. I still remember how to milk the cow. But... Now, I wouldn't, I'm not looking for a milk cow. I'm, I'd want a beef cow, you know. Get me a... But I don't know if I'm going to mess with all that. That's just too much work. Hogs, hell, y'all get... All you got to do is make sure they got water and throw them some slop now and then, and they're good, to, they're good to go. So, don't really have to fence it in all that much. Just run a freaking uh, solar or electric fence around the area. About three tiers high, you they ain't, ain't going to worry about it unless a branch or something falls down. I'll take care of that shit. I'll clear that out. Oh, hell. Cigarette went out my lighter's way over there. Yeah, uh, I sort of like it like this, though. You know, I, I hate not being that I'm not moving. Uh, I just, I guess I've been a nomad all my life. I just like to travel. I like to go. I like to be in new places, meet new people. But with Miss Kim being ill like she is, I really don't have that choice. She can't go much. And, uh, you know, uh, 
I'm not going to leave her behind, go off on vacation myself. I mean, that's just not, not even cool. Uh, I mean, I did take off, go out to the people's convoy and stuff, but I considered that work. That was a job, you know. Cows and a lot of them on the farm. I don't miss it at all. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, my neighbor up here, top of the hill, he's got chickens and a goat, and uh, he's talking about getting a couple hogs, too. He's talking about putting them on the other side of my property over there. Not on my property. He owns the other side of the road. He's talking about putting them over there, and I thought about maybe just me and him just get together. The two of us can take care of the hogs, and he can put two in there. I can put two in there, and uh, they can just be crowded all together, and we'll work at it together as a team, you know. Um, but with these prices going up like they are everywhere around, and the government doing what they're doing to our food supply, I'm trying to make Kim and I a little bit more self-sufficient, you know. Uh, I look at it like this. I got 26 baby chicks upstairs. With 26 chicks, I should end up uh, with about 11 dozen eggs a week. Uh, I know that's more than me and Kim need. But I dehydrate my eggs. I... Uh, we'll water glass them for the winter so that we have winter eggs to eat, fresh eggs. Uh, the, the dehydrated ones you can use for your bacon, for everything like that, and, you know. And the thing is, if everything went to absolute, excuse my expression, shit, well, we got food. I mean, I don't even have to kill the chickens. There's enough protein in those eggs to keep us alive keep us going we could eat eggs twice a day i mean it'd get boring after a while but you know what we'd be alive or others would be starving yeah eggs are good for you i don't know if you know this or not man the the sea vid that was going around um egg yolks actually inhibit uh the progress of it just like uh the iver you know, that, that nectin stuff. Um, it, uh, eggs are, they're, they're proving that they're, they're good for that also. So, you know, there was a big, all this big talk about it going on, but Kim and I never got it. Both of us are disabled and have, I have heart issues. Kim has other medical issues that it would have devastated the two of us. But we both eat eggs. Uh, we didn't have any ivermectin. Uh, I've got some on the way right now just in case. Uh, I just said the word so if I get banned. Cock. I don't know. So other people are talking about it on there now too. But uh, uh, and I eat eggs on a daily basis. I, I mean every morning I have eggs. Uh, bacon uh potatoes or, i mean that's my normal routine every morning so uh, and we never got it and we very rarely ever wore a freaking mask we refused to we wouldn't do it and neither one of us of course got the jab that they were giving out so you know i i believe uh Good Lord was standing beside us the whole time anyway. He always does. Uh, he was telling us absolutely do not take that. And uh, I'm glad we didn't. I'm really glad we didn't. But then again, I've never taken any kind of uh, a vaccine. The only time I really did was when I was in the Army and I had to go over to Germany and uh, France. Uh, we had to be vaccinated to go over there because they have different diseases than we do and of course being in the army you really didn't get a choice at that time so yeah i, I that's about the only time i've been vaccinated except for when i, I guess when i was a child my mom had me vaccinated for uh chicken pox and uh, smallpox or something like that uh, 
polio. I know I've had those three, but uh, I never take the flu shot. I never take any of those. I never get the flu. I've never had the flu. My mom, my wife has never had the flu. She never takes a shot. So I think it's just all basically up to your body and how you are. Hey, Carol. Pure bud and never tested either. I got you, girl. I got you. We're just sitting here talking because my batteries are running dead on my mic and stuff, and I had to plug it all in. So wait for it to charge back up, and then I'm going to do the front of this building and then go around and do the backside, and we'll be good for the day. I'll be really glad to see it buttoned up so I don't have to worry about that mylar coming off and rain getting in. Still got to tarp the front when I'm done here because of that door being there, but uh, until I get the door built, which I'll probably do sometime this week uh, while it's raining. I'll, I'll uh, take it in the garage and build me a door for it. Come out here. And if I get a break between the rain, I'll come out here and slap it on real quick, and then I ain't got to worry about nothing. So, well, the problem I had was up on the roof. Uh, I didn't ha quite have enough roof cap to cover. I'm, I'm missing about eight inches, nine inches on one end. So I'm probably going to pull that cap back off. And I got some flashing, 12-inch uh, wide flashing from my stepdad after he passed up there. I went, got, got the stuff he, he willed to me. I got a roll of that. I'm probably just going to take that and wrap it around the top of the cap up there. Uh That'll be good enough to uh, keep the rain from getting inside. And uh, you know, I don't care if a little bit gets inside. I just don't want that that uh, floor getting all wet and chickens ending up with some kind—I of, don't remember what they call it—but bung foot or something like that. And they're beating me up wet all the time. But uh, yeah. Not a bad day today. It's been quite cloudy, but we're getting sun now and then. Not too bad. Been a little windy. As you can tell my hair is probably all over the freaking place right now. I don't care. Ain't here to impress nobody. But uh, I'm going to move this camera when I set back up so you can see the front of it because I'm going to get the front done. And uh, I got a knock three and a half inches off because I don't want to go clear to the roof on this side. Uh, I, I didn't show you all that when I started this up. My roof is overhanging by six inches on both sides. Uh, it started raining. The, just right after I got the roof and, and the cap up on there, it started raining. So I didn't get to put the uh, spacer boards for the eave and the uh, splash plate on, on the outside edges of either side of it so that's still got to go up there so i don't need to run these boards all the way up they need to stay about three and a half inches down put everything on a 15 degree angle so that'll make it easy i got my angle gauge over here digital one i'll throw a 15 degree on there and make me a cut so these should go on fairly good now that those are squared up Hopefully, the front's not out of square too much. So that should have helped square pretty much the building up, getting those two sides done. Wow. So, <coughs> so, once that's done, I'll put some, some, uh, uh, yeah, some cross supports on the bottom of the legs down there keep it from rocking it won't rock anymore that's why that didn't get done and uh, for one and for number two i knew that if i did that put those cross braces on there before i put the siding on that i wouldn't be able to move the building at all and square it up if it was out of square which that wind really knocked it out of square uh, i even noticed down there just just a little bit ago i noticed that the whole bottom the whole building it actually moved. Uh, I'm hanging about a 
three quarters of an inch off that block on this side and I'm three quarters of an inch in on that block on the other side over there. This side stayed, but it cocked a little bit right there. So it actually moved the building and that's why it was all out of square. Uh, that, that winds and storm we had Friday were bad. It was bad. We had everything from rain to hail and rain and hail at the same time, snow and hail and it snowed and hailed at the same time. Heavy, heavy freaking winds, tornado warnings, freaking everything. And I had to run back and forth to St. Louis twice to get Kim from the hospital. So, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was a great day. But it actually moved the freaking building. I, I'm actually sitting here. I noticed a little bit earlier that it was off, but I'm sitting here looking at it. And yeah, it really, it actually moved that building. I was thinking maybe the blocks had moved, but the blocks haven't moved. It's the building actually moved. So once I get all the sheeting on here, I'll come over with my pry bar and put it back on the blocks, square it up like it's supposed to be. I didn't finish it yet. No, not yet, darling. Not yet. I'm getting old. But I'm feeling it. I love doing stuff like this, you know, it's fun, uh, something new to do, something nice, uh, like I said, I could have made a freaking riffraff, freaking chicken coop like my neighbor's got up there, he's just got a bunch of freaking skids put up and boards put over them and a tarp thrown over top of it and a fence thrown around it, I could have done the same thing, but like I said earlier in the video, I just built a freaking house here, and it looks beautiful. I don't want this ugly-looking thing out in my backyard. <laughs> slacker. I got your slacker. I'll come over to Ohio and drag your ass back here and put you to work. I know where you live, remember? I showed you your house on, on, on uh, uh, Google Earth. I showed you exactly. I know exactly where you live. <laughs> now Fry I just know he's 20 miles outside of Austin that might take me a while to find him oh shoot actually the wind's dying down now sort of sucks now it's getting hot Let me see how this thing's doing on charge. Hey, it's getting there. Almost there. I'm going to get back to work here in a minute. Grab me something to drink. I really pretty much have to finish this stuff up today. I know you do, Carol. I love you too, dog. I really need to get these finished up today because underneath these last four boards is my concrete to put the post in down there. And it needs to get in the side. And I really don't want to drag these off and have to put them somewhere over there out of the way. Make sure the wind ain't going to catch them. All that kind of garbage. And then have to drag them all back out of here to cut them for a buffer. So. Whether it gets dark or not, I don't care. I'm going to finish this damn thing today. If my body is taken. I'm pretty, I'm pretty whooped already just fighting these two sides. Uh. And it wouldn't be so bad if my neck wasn't so messed up. My back wasn't so messed up. Stuff wouldn't hurt as bad and I could keep going. It's not that I'm tired. It's that I'm hurting like hell. But I'm going to go ahead and get one of these boards off here and just lay out on the floor. Turn you around.
behind over here a little bit. It's going to be I don't have a hard I don't have my other level out here. Be right back. Don't tell me the battery went in this thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I can't oh battery came out. Ah, there we go. Right on the money. Right on the money, seven batteries. 75 degrees makes 15 degrees. 75. This is going up, yes. All right, let me see what this thing is. That's looking good. That's looking good again. Okay, let's pull that off. Mic back on, guys. Turn the camera back around. This thing back on my side. 
that stuff in my pocket so it ain't in my way. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera back facing the other way and move you over there where you can see. Oh, come on. Okay, hang loose. Settings, camera. Rear face. So that's good. Okay. Let's get that out of there. All right. Drag all these cords and everything over here. And y'all gonna go sideways. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk around because my other cords tangled around here. All right. Let's put it somewhere here and get you guys back level again. Too many things plugged in and going out here, guys. <laughs> I bet you're dizzy. <laughs> okay. Let's turn over this way a little bit. I know it's a little far away, but I can't really put it anywhere else at the moment. So, all right. Cut this board off. Go put another piece on. Loud noise. Yeah, let me make sure I'm going to go cut my sawhorse. Nope, we're good. All right. First things first, let's put my helper board back on. Let's see if I can't get this screw out of there. I guess not. Freaking perfect. I love it. I 
I don't love the shit's bold, but a little bit off. A little bit. Not bad. You go over. Turn this up there. Stay. We just got to tap her over just a little bit. Front side ain't out of whack so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna need two of these, ain't I? I don't think I got another one out here. I do got that though. That'll work. Could bring a block over, but they're heavy as hell, so. There we go. Screw God. Oh, come on. Should be wood there. Why in the hell? I didn't even run you all the way through.
That wasn't so bad. It was a little off, not real bad. the door out from the inside with my I'm not going to do it with the skill saw I could but I'm not going to I like these uh, multi tools I don't know if y'all can see this but you know, multi tool I like these they do a damn good job. I can cut this door out and not have to worry about it. But I got to cut at least this side out. Or I won't be able to get inside to cut it out. And I need these pieces because these pieces that are here are going to be put together to make the door. No sense in wasting the crap, right? Okay. Right here. Very good. battery. The rest of them are all upstairs. Alright guys, I'm going to disappear on you here in a minute. Cut this bottom out first. I'm better off doing it with skills off. <clears throat> so this is wanting to raise up no matter what I do, and I ain't usually have that problem. myself in the head. <laughs> Not like it hurt this freaking rock head anyway, but Ooh. the ladder wants to fall. All right. Now get out the way. I bet that vibrator's 
that the multitude was real loud on this thing. And I thought doing it this way. I just didn't want to take the damn time to whew, get the skill saw over and measure all this shit out. I think I will on this side. I'm about to get this done now. I'll finish it, but. Jeez, oh, Pete. Burn my blade up. That's why it's taking so long. I'm smoking. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
freaking time that probably drove y'all nuts but that was real loud I won't do the other side on camera I promise Thanks, Bri. Appreciate it. Thanks, Carol. Yep, gonna need that battery back when I do it. Oh, where is it? There it is.
at work. Oh, you fucker. Oh, sorry. What? We got out on camera. Wasn't it?
bitch. Oh, dang, get in here. I watched my language on this. I keep forgetting I'm on the camera. Apologize, guys. I ain't gonna cut that one out until I get the door built. I just need a way in and out, so I'm only gotta cut cover up that little spot right there. Don't even need the tarp for that, I just throw a piece of plastic over it. Okay. Well two on the back and we got her. Now, oh, there goes my camera. Oh, boy. All right. See if I can get this round back without screwing it up again. Well, I got to tighten that up. Get on. I don't know if I can get back far enough. We ought to be able to see this side. Hi, Carol. Okay. Let me put this up there. Oh, I lost my cord. Put on. Have this sucker whipped for the day, anyway. Hopefully, this won't take too much longer. I got that one cut already. I just got to move my helper board over, put it on, and then throw these two boards up, and I got her. Okay. Let's see here. Get my screw gun. Take these screws out. Okay. 
Come on. Oh no. Come on. Don't you break my screw head. That's the only thing bad about right here. Is everything is freaking clay. This stuff I can tell it's really hadn't dried up yet. All righty. I won't need the pipe clamp, but I will bang it around just in case. Off a little bit. Might be able to fix that. Without a lot of trouble. Let's get this bottom screwed on. Sink into the ground here, lad. Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, let's get a screw started. Right on. Good one. Good, good, good. Okay, I put these at two foot intervals coming from the other side. Cause I gotta put a window back here yet. Okay. 
นะที่แบบไม่แดดไม่ดีสินักสนาวเฮ้ยสุดยอดเลยเนี่ยฟรีกันไปอ
понял. I have mud all over it, dragging it through the mud. Well, there's a freaking board there. Why ain't it hitting? It's right in the freaking peak, and I know there's a peak board. What the hell? Why am I not hitting anything there? It's right on the freaking peak. Two screws over here. I'm gonna have to dig out. Guess I was just hoping I'd get lucky right there and hit something, but I didn't. I knew better. Oh come on! No, oh, come on now. I'm six inch long fucking bits. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now I know I can do this left-handed. I do it all the dang day. Gotta be kidding me. I'm having a bad day with left handed and I'm ambidextrous. That don't make no damn sense.
I think that one's about right there, but let's see. Oh, you're here. Come on. I can't see. I ain't got my tape measure. Should have been right there. That's just nuts. Well, it's way over farther than I thought it was, that's for sure. That's what I get for guessing. I should butt my tape over. <laughs> how good my guess is on this one. 12, 24. Can't you see and gauge is off today. At least it is now. It wasn't earlier. Oh, shit, I was right there. I was right there. How did that miss?
I'm glad it's the last one, guys. Yeah, boy, it's a damn boat. I gotta put a freaking put another board in there, but I wanted a freaking window there, so I'm gonna have to frame it in so I can get that to pull in. Pretty much accomplished what I wanted to for today. I can always tack the rest down later. Okay. Let me see if I can undo all this mess. Unhook that. Unhook. Grab the phone out. I still kick two T three. I'm still kicking. Okay, let me turn this camera back around. Come on. Oh, I can't get anything to click. What the heck is going on? There we go. Uh, settings camera. Let's turn this around so it's looking at my ugly mug. Scare everybody. Her. Why? Is everything so bad? Well, well, my screen's a little screwed up, guys, but I can still see you. Hi. Right. Anyway, it's all on there. Uh, I'm not going to open the other half of that door up until I get uh, the door built. Then I'll cut that other half out. So, finally made it all the way around the darn thing. Got to put some screws on the seams yet. Uh, I'll do that another time. I ain't worried about that. And I just wanted to get the plywood up. I got to get, I don't know if y'all can see. Uh, yeah, this seam right here is a little out because these bold boards. But I'm putting a window in there. I just wasn't sure where I wanted it yet because I'm going to put the uh, uh, roosting bars across this side. So, um once I figure out where the roosting bar is, where I want them at, then I'll frame that in and I'll be able to pull that in uh, for that. So, basically, I got accomplished what I needed to today. Besides, I got to still unload that concrete into my garage. Because it's going to rain before I get a chance to use it. Uh, I won't use it if it's going to rain within 24 hours. I know it dries within three and walk on by in seven but not, i just i want it to dry i want it done right oh yeah i do need a drink i got some over here i can't even hold my phone where i'm supposed to here we go <laughs> it's, it's all cockeyed from the way i don't know what's going on my picture's way off to the side it's like my camera's i, I mean i'm pointing that at me and it's way over there i don't know what's going on for some reason my chat screen is bigger than me there I don't know I can't make this it's not uh, they changed their system a little bit and now things are a little different on the phone but yeah I feel more comfortable knowing it all this rain is coming. It's not going to rip all my mylar off now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I am uh, enclosed. All I have to do is put a piece of plastic over that little doorway right there. And I got her. Uh, for today, anyway. Pull the truck over. You know, I don't know. I may just pull the damn truck inside the barn and say hell with this concrete until later my back's hurting uh, i know i didn't do much i only put up eight sheets of stuff but when your back gets like mine you can't take much so my next project to be putting the door in put the windows in on this side over here 
put the braces on down at the bottom. Of course, I need to move the building over a little bit because that wind did move it. Um, get it back on the block straight. And then uh, finish off the eaves on both sides and paint it. And chicken coop besides the inside a little bit. I mean, just a little bit of stuff putting up the, the roost and bars and stuff like that. Uh, that won't be too bad. That's pretty easy stuff there. I can't hold that one. Oh, that's better. I hold up my right hand and it's, I don't know what's up with that. It's a little better. I guess it's just being left. I'm right-handed and left-handed. I can use either hand. But I guess this phone, when it's laying, sitting like this, is uh, right-handed. So, <laughs> but, been a good day. Took me, what, three and a half hours. I had to put up eight sheets, which should have took me about an hour and a half. But building was way out of square, so... Uh, I got it all squared back up. It's looking good. I mean, it looks looks like a building now. A lot more than what it did. With just that plastic on there. Trying to get it in the frame there without all the sun. And uh, I feel a whole lot better actually once I get some paint on it. But I was supposed to rain for the next eight freaking days at least here. So probably not going to get no paint on it for a while. Uh, I was going to paint it the same color as my building, but you know what? It's a chicken house. It needs to look like a barn. So it's going to get red, white, and then the roof has got blue and white. So I have red, white, and blue. I'll be patriotic chicken coop. Come on. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Guys, I think I'm going to have to cut this off. I need to sit down and take a break. Maybe I'll come back on tonight and do another live and just chit chat with y'all for a while. So keep an eye out. I may throw another one up uh, after I cool down and get myself around. All right. Love y'all. God bless. Thanks for watching. I need to really work on getting my watch hours up. I'm back in my left hand, so everything's crooked again. So <laughs> uh, just uh, keep an eye out because I'm going to be putting more videos up uh, quite a bit as much as I can. Uh, uh, my watch hours are all going to go away. All of them I got last year are going to go away here real soon, shortly, and I'm going to lose everything. So I start all over again. But thank you, Carol. I plan on it. I'm going to go up here and take my break, sit in front of the fan, drink me lots of fluids, get something to eat, and straighten up a bit. And then maybe I'll come back on here and just have a chit chat with y'all. All right. Love y'all. God bless. Talk to you later.